What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Go ahead, pull up a seat. Let's have a little chat, shall we? In the words of Ice Cube, I can't believe today was a good day. More so for the Helldivers community, because we bullied a multi-billion dollar empire into submission. And all it really took was them losing money and a third of the world for them to reverse their decision. Without wasting any more time, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to sub to the channel, and let's get right on with it. My original video talking about the situation had to be completely canned, thanks for that by the way Sony, because they thankfully reversed their decision requiring PC players to link a PlayStation Network work account just to play Helldivers 2. If you're new to the situation and you're wondering why this was a bad thing, it's because people who bought this game in countries that didn't allow PlayStation Network would essentially be locked out of Helldivers 2. And if they tried to bypass this by using a VPN, their accounts would be instantly banned. And because of this obvious 200 IQ move that Sony had, this caused Helldivers 2 to go from a very positive, overwhelmingly positive reviewed game to an overwhelmingly negative reviewed game in just three to four days. This also left Arrowhead caught in the crossfire of just a lot of shit. But thankfully, at the time of me recording this, the ratings are starting to go back up, it's gaining its original traction back, but I think the damage has pretty much been done. Maybe not to the game, but to the integrity of Sony which didn't have much of an integrity to begin with, at least for me. So at 11 p.m. on May 5th, Sony put out a tweet that says the following, Helldivers fans, we have heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning on May 30th, will not be moving forward. Good. See? How hard was that? It goes on by saying, We're still learning what is best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2 and we'll keep you updated on future plans. Now, I'm gonna ask the same question I asked in my original video. Sony, are y'all this fucking stupid? What do you mean you're still learning? I know that the PC market is kind of fairly new to y'all, but guys, it's not that hard to learn that when you cut off a portion of the world after taking their money, people aren't going to be happy. It's like getting your driver's license and then years later you get into a wreck and then when the person you hit hops out of the car and starts screaming and yelling at you, you tell them that you're still learning how to drive. Y'all aren't stupid. You've made billions by making mostly smart decisions. Don't use ignorance just because y'all lost a shit ton of money. Now, the one person that I wanted to hear from the most about this was the CEO of Arrowhead. He was kind of fairly active on X or Twitter for a little bit. And thankfully, he quote tweeted this announcement and said the following. Firstly, I am impressed by the willpower of the Helldivers 2 community and your ability to collaborate. Secondly, I want to thank our partners and friends at PlayStation for quickly and effectively making the decision to leave PSN linking optional. We together want to set a new standard for what a live game is, and how developers and community can support each other to create the best game experiences. Not gonna lie, that's a, uh, that's a solid reply. Alongside this, he actually posted a concept for a cape that he found on the subreddit, I believe, and he's working with his team right now to make sure that this cape becomes available and is free to everyone. Yeah, it's, it's not a major thing, but hey, a cape is a cape. Massive dubs to the community though for making Sony feel the heat of their piss poor decision, and if there's one thing that you can do to help Arrowhead, change your reviews on Steam. If you got a refund of Helldivers 2, consider buying the game again just to support the devs. Now, there is one more thing that I want to touch on real quick, and it's something that was said in the CEO's replies. A user asks, how much effectiveness do you ultimately lose out on moderating the game from this point forward without the PSN link? The CEO then replies with, well, a bit but we are building systems to replace that functionality. So while we're out of the storm right now when we can clap and celebrate, there's going to be a system that comes around in the future for Sony to moderate the player base, which, and this is just an idea, wouldn't it be more beneficial to build a report system that integrates both Steam and PlayStation? At the end of it all, I'm thankful for a few things, okay? First, we stopped Sony from killing Helldivers 2. Second, we stopped Arrowhead from sinking into the dirt. Third, and most importantly, we stood on fucking business. We went to war with a billion dollar company and won. But in all seriousness, going forward, I want all these companies, either AAA or indie, to realize that requiring third party accounts is really nothing more than an inconvenience and should only be seen as an option. In this case, Sony should make going through the hassle of setting up a PlayStation account and linking it to Steam tied to a cosmetic incentive. Like, if you link your accounts, you get a cape, or an armor set, 
or a weapon skin, something that makes doing this even worth it. But while I can be a cynic and take some jabs here and there, this whole situation comes with the discussion of what made Sony truly change this. Sony is typically bullheaded about a lot of the decisions that they make, so seeing them revert back on this decision that they made, that's why this feels like such a huge win to us. Could it be that Steam was authorizing refunds to people with more than two hours on file for the game? Could it be that they didn't want to ruin their chances on capitalizing more on a PC market? I don't think we're ever going to get more than a corporate nothing burger of a response and then countless days of speculation from here. I just hope the other companies that decided to treat their player base like shit took notes on how you handle a situation like this. Maybe it'll help them out too. But yeah, that's about all I wanted to say. Let me know down below what you think about the Helldivers 2 situation. And while you're down there, be sure to smash that like button and orbital laser that sub button to all so YouTube can show you my content free of charge. And as always, I want to give a massive shout out to all the members of the channel. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the continued support. This is Sir Blackout signing off to restock on another review bomb stratagem just in case Sony wants to get silly again. Later.